am Rich Bracey at Bracey's A1 Septic. This is an explanation of the common problem of septic tank air line obstruction, which results in aerator or air pump overheating and failure. After discussing the problem, I will provide you with an easy solution. So let's get started. This is a typical sewage treatment plant with two chambers. For this discussion, we will be concentrating on the first chamber, which is for aeration. The aerator line is the inverted T structure that is normally made of one half inch diameter PVC pipe, although some systems are up to an inch and a quarter diameter. At the bottom of the T, which is the horizontal section, it has from four to ten quarter inch holes that allow the air from your air pump to escape and bubble up to aerate the liquid waste. Over time, sludge buildup on the bottom of the treatment plant tank begins to actually cover the aeration pipe and at some point begins to block some or all of the quarter inch holes as depicted here. This is especially true with the aerator or air pump has been inoperative for any length of time. These obstructions restrict the quantity of air that the aerator can pump into the tank and can create so much back pressure that the air pump will overheat then burn out or tear the air pump diaphragms. It is not unusual for your first air pump on a brand new sewage treatment plant installation to last five to ten years. Then as the aeration pipe gets progressively more obstructed, new pumps will last one to five years and finally they may burn out in a few weeks to a year. It is not possible to clear the obstructed line with high pressure compressor, even with 100 PSI. I have tried it many times. The only way to clear the clogs is to cut the aerator pipe inside the tank and bring the whole inverted T outside the tank for proper cleaning. This is possible, though unpleasant, immediately after you have had your treatment plant pumped out while the fluid level is low. But what if you have just bought a new air pump from me and can't take the time and expense for the above task? Don't worry, here is the solution. The solution is to make or buy a new aerator pipe made of one half inch diameter PVC with a few connectors, elbows, tees, and caps, just like this. You also need a three quarter inch diameter flexible hose that you see here in black. This is how it all works. You put it down your six inch inspection pipe that's also made of PVC as shown, connect it to your existing aeration pipe on the top of your tank and it will fold out and aerate just as your old inverted T did. And even better yet, at any time you can disconnect your new aeration pipe and pull it up for inspection and or cleaning and then put it right back in place again. So go ahead and make your own, but if it looks a little too intimidating for you, you can buy the aerator pipe here at the air pump store. This is Rich Bracey of Bracey's A1 Septic. If you have any questions, just give me a call. 225-715-5784. Hope to hear from you.